Hi there, this is Trav Murphy, and today we are coloring Nurse Joker. And you can see I'm throwing in some floral white here for a base. And then we're going to jump to fruit pink. I'm going to put in some shadows around the neck. And uh, if we can use lighter, lighter skin tones to blend in that. But at the moment we're going to jump to G20 wax white. Now, wax white is a great color. It's a great all-rounder. It works really well with um, with skin colors like the lighter E um, colors. Uh, we're going to use skin white here in the neck before jumping the cool shadow. Now, because Joker's in a hospital environment and he's got white uh, white face paint and a white uniform, um, he's going to reflect a lot of the colors that are around him. That's what happens a lot of the time with Joker. Um, the white the white face paint really reflects the environment that he's in so that's what we're doing at the moment we're just throwing in some uh, some of those colors been bounced off his um been bounced onto his uniform and face uh, frost blue will help to um you know give it that nice clinical look we'll be throwing in some more colors in on top of that later to darken it down uh, willow if you only get one color and you plan on doing joker um Willow is just one of those colors that are it's so perfect for Joker's hair. Um, I'll be using darker greens on there too. Uh, cool gray number three is a uh, is great to have to tone down all those kind of brighter colors. Um, perfect for shadows and stuff, especially with Joker's uh, white face paint. Um, I'll be using a lighter cool gray number zero. To blend in those um, that number three zero or a uh, gray, so here we go. You can see I'm using the cool gray number zero to soften the edges of that um, cool gray number three, and just uh, you know drag it out, drag out the cool gray number three to soften it. So we'll do that for a bit on his face. before jumping back to cool gray number three so you can see I'm just throwing in some extra detail there which I can soften later with cool gray number zero but actually I could jump to new blue BG02 and just that helps to um, darken it down a bit now bush bush green is another great color it's uh, very close to grey, it's heading on towards grey, so it's a nice kind of muted dark green. It's not like a forest green or, you know, whatever. Um, it's it's quite close to grey, so it's perfect for toning down brighter greens. Um, new blue, I'm using that again, and now we're going to Ice Ocean, which is like... It's probably one of the first times I've used that marker, and it's just perfect for the hospital... Um, curtains and and just that environment you know scrubs and stuff so um, cool gray number seven now we're heading towards black so we're gonna darken everything down further with cool gray number seven cool gray number five we're gonna use to just soften those edges again um, and further tone down the background because the background is quite dark in this picture so we can use new blue to blend in those greys again and uh, yeah a bit of night blue I know I say like you work from dark to light but you can switch back and forth between darks and lights you can use the lighter colors to blend in your dark colors and then go back over and you know that's the great thing about Copics, and the great thing about working with watercolour papers, you can layer so much. Uh, the pinkish white, now you can see I'm preparing the lips and the face for, or the, I'm preparing the face for the lips. I wouldn't really use um, vermilion on its own, I would always soften it in with some, uh, in this case, pink. That pink is just perfect for Joker's colours, isn't it? So here we go with vermilion, and uh, we're just going to throw that in there, not not worry you too much about blending at the moment and then we can do that with or zero two another great color to have uh, flesh and you can see that's really softening in that vermilion there 
So yellowish skin pink, we'll just throw a bit of that around onto the neck. Baked clay, um, that is a quite a deep shadow underneath his, uh, underneath his head there, underneath his jawline. So we're going to use that to um, just add more shadow. Cocoa brown is, a, is another great colour, it's very close to grey, very muted brown. Baked clay again, yellowish skin pink blended in, soften the edges. Back to Willow, just throw a bit more into the hair and the background. Now Special Black. There is practically no difference between Special Black, which is 110, and Black, which is 100. Um, if there's any difference, it's that Special Black is just a tiny fraction darker. And um, Regular Black has a kind of a very, very light reddish kind of cast to it, but you would never notice it. So right now I'm just throwing in hair and darken the background a little bit. Now, this is when we get into detail, and you can see I'm using a multi-liner to cross-hatch and further blend in the hairline into the face, and suggest hair as well. And thicken up those strands and darken them down, I can add new ones in, and uh, this is where it really starts to come to life, you know, the little details. And you can see the end is in sight. So I can I can also use this uh, multi-liner to do some edges on the body and stuff and, and help to bring Joker out from the background. Help uh, give him some more detail. You can see the way the hair really kind of pops from the background. So we're going to just throw a little bit into onto the, um, onto the left shoulder now in a second. bit more shadow. There you go. Just uh, just little things like that help to bring your character out. I'll do the same with white ink in a in a cup in a well, a couple of seconds probably. If only I could work this fast in real life. Oh yeah, we're using a cool gray multi-liner here just to add extra detail and texture into Joker's face. Um, you know, get some of that skin texture. So here we go, white ink and a size zero brush, adding in highlights and throw some highlights into the hair. You can see I just did the shoulder there, which helps bring it out. <coughs> I can use some uh, white ink on the collar there just to um, fix up some uh, some bleed from the um, yellowish skin pink and the uh, baked clay brown there. Just tidy that up a bit. And just a little bit more multi-liner. A little bit more texture on the face. And fruit pink for the eyes, and we are done. So if you want to see any more videos, uh, just visit trevmurphy.com. Hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I know I have.